Hello, this is Keith from Loctec. I'm going to be showing and demonstrating the new GM10 AccuReader. And first off, you'll notice it's got the typical slides a 2, a 3, and a 4, and your relay, relay, <coughs> release slide. And you'll also notice it comes with two different keys one's for doing 6 through 10 of the lock and the other one's for 1 through 5 of the lock. You'll see the traditionally drilled holes for to help your alignment and what position you're in and the yes no positions. And that's it. We're going to go ahead and set it up and read this lock. Okay, we're going to start off with the AccuReader that's got the number 10 wafer trap slot. Insert it all the way into the lock. Pull the slide out, jiggle it so it catches, pulled out, caught in the nine. I always give it a good jiggle to make sure the wafer is dropped all the way. And I've already lubricated this lock. Start off with the number four. Four reads a no. Then we'll move to the number three. Number three reads a yes. Okay, so we're going to write down number three for number nine position. Pull it out to the seven. There, it drops into the seven. Give it a good jiggle. Start over with the number four again. Number four reads a no. Number three reads a yes. So we'll pull that out. Now we're starting to get out here to the end of the lock, so we're going to switch over to our other key which lets more of the key be inside the lock as with all the rest of our tools and we're going to start by inserting it all the way back in and that's going to be automatically in the 5 position so it's got number 5 trapped right now so we're going to go ahead and read number 5 starting with the 4 depth again that reads a no number 3 reads a no and number two reads a yes. So we'll write down a two for five. We'll pull it out to the next position. Which is gonna be a number three. We'll start reading with our four depth again. Which reads a no. Go to a three depth. 3 depth reads a yes for number 3 position. So, top of this lock is red now, and we'll pull that out, and we'll get the camera set up on the other side of the lock and read the bottom side. Okay, we're set up on the other side now, and we're going to start off with the key that's got the number 10 wafer trap in it again. We'll go ahead and insert it all the way into the keyway, and it's going to pull out the number eight spot. Give it a good jiggle. And we'll start reading again with our four. Four is reading a yes. So number eight is going to be a four. Go ahead and pull it out again. Give it a good jiggle. Reads a no. Number three reads a no. Number two reads a yes. So number six is going to be the two depth. Alright, since this is our six through ten key, we'll switch back over to our one through five key. Insert it all the way in again, which is lined up for the five depth right now, which is on the top of the lock, so when I pull it out, it'll trap number four which is on the bottom. Give it a good jiggle again. Start reading with our four again. And that reads a yes for that one also. Alright, there you go. Take all those depths, cut you a key, and you have a door key. And you can progress into the ignition. That's it.